The Australian Securities Exchange is the country's main stock exchange. The exchange is owned and administered by ASX Limited and is also known as the ASX. Despite the fact that the exchange and the operational firms are two different entities, they are frequently referred to as one due to their interconnected nature. State-based stock markets were the first security exchanges in Australia in the 1800s. The Australian Stock Exchange was established on April 1, 1987 as a result of legislation passed by the Australian Parliament that merged the six state securities markets. In 2006, the Australian Securities Exchange amalgamated with the Sydney Futures Exchange to become the Australian Securities Exchange. Australian Securities Exchange Limited was renamed ASX Limited in 2010. There are several asset types and services to choose from. The exchange sells stocks, bonds, derivatives and commodities, among other things. Trading, settlement, clearing and listing are all services provided by the firm. According to ASX Limited's 2020 annual report to shareholders, it is a top 10 global securities exchange by value and Asia's largest interest rate derivatives market. There are 2,258 listings on the exchange and they are denominated in Australian dollars. Shares, futures, exchange traded options, warrants, contracts for difference, exchange traded funds, unlisted managed funds, M fund. Exchange traded managed fund, ETMF, real estate investment trusts, listed investment companies and interest rate securities are among the products available for trading on ASX. Australia's economy is a well-developed mixed economy. Australia has the 12th largest nominal GDP, gross domestic product, the 18th largest PPP, adjusted GDP, the 25th largest goods exporter and the 20th largest goods importer as of 2021. With the 103rd financial quarter, Australia set a new record for the longest period of unbroken GDP expansion in the developed world, marking 26 years since the country had a technical recession, two consecutive quarters of negative growth. As of 2021, its GDP was expected to be 1.7 trillion Australian dollars. In 2017, the service sector dominated the Australian economy accounting for 62.7% of GDP and employing 78.8% of the workforce. With a total projected value of 19.9 trillion US dollars in 2019, Australia has the 10th largest total estimated value of natural resources. In 2009 to 10, when the mining boom was at its peak, the mining industry's total value added was 8.4% of GDP. Despite recent declines in the mining industry, Australia's economy has remained resilient and steady, with no recessions from 1991 to 2020. In terms of domestic market capitalisation, the Australian Securities Exchange in Sydney is the world's 16th biggest stock exchange and it contains one of the largest interest rate derivatives markets in the Asia-Pacific area. Commonwealth Bank, BHP, CSL, Westpac, NAB, ANZ, 
Fortescue Metals Group, Wes Farmers, Macquarie Group, Woolworths Group, Rio Tinto and Telstra are just a few of Australia's major corporations. The Australian dollar is the currency of Australia and its territory, which it shares with many Pacific nation states. The economies of East and Southeast Asia, often known as ASEAN plus 3APT, are deeply linked with Australia's, accounting for around 64% of exports in 2016. China, in particular, is by far Australia's most important export and import partner. Australia is a member of the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation, APEC, the G20, the OECD and the World Trade Organization, WTO. ASEAN, Canada, Chile, China, South Korea, Malaysia, New Zealand, Peru, Japan, Singapore, Thailand and the United States have all signed free trade agreements with the country. The Ancerta deal with New Zealand has substantially strengthened economic integration and a proposal to establish an Australasian single economic market by 2015 was announced in 2011. The main industries are financial and insurance services, construction, healthcare and social assistance, mining, professional services, scientific and technical services and manufacturing. In most cases a non-resident does not pay capital gains tax on the sale of shares in Australia. Equity research on Aussie stocks can be done with the Australian Bureau of Statistics website. First, with more than 100 regions covered, you can learn more with the Exotic Markets book available on Amazon. Second, you can explore sector and industry intelligence for different countries by going to pervasives.com. If you have an issue in relation to accounting and tax with foreign stocks, you can contact us by going to our website.